Hey, I'm right here, and this is my mini Poke Haul uh, Instagram video number 11. Um, you'll probably see me reference this video in my later videos because this one just came and the other ones came earlier than this. So, awesome. Okay. So just, yeah, I can't really reuse that. Anyway. So into the recycling box it goes, which luckily is very nice to me. Huh. So where does this start? Mm. Well technically I don't need to save any more bubble wrap because I've got oh, I've got a whole bag full of bubble wrap under my desk. So I don't need to really save bubble wrap. So I'll just cut into it. Normally I save it since I got a whole bag full of pots. I'm going to just rip into it. Well, not in red, in red, in red. Look at what I'm saying. It's very nicely packaged. Okay. Awesome. I don't have damage or anything. Go. Okay. That's cardboard. That goes in the recycling. I'll just take the tape off of it. I'm not supposed to recycle. So. I'm actually taking off my envelopes. Don't go into the recycling. Well, shouldn't go into the recycling because of the, the sticky, licky bit. Actually, that's nice cardboard. Maybe I should keep it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'll just put it over there with my packaging stuff. Okay, I miss the trash. Okay. Well, these are nice divider plasticky bits. I'll keep those. <laughs> I wonder what they're for. It's like one of those, like address cards, you know, the size. Anyway, we'll put that off to the side. <laughs> and, okay. So this is part number one. So but before we get into that, I got this letter, and it's, it's not Pokemon, but I got it from eBay. But I got the Harpy Poo Poo Perfumer, a Pew Firmer, <laughs> Harpy Perfumer, the one that I was missing because I bought a little bundle of singles. And this was a free card that they put in it. There is one thing I have to say though, is that on the envelope it says use stamp. I mean, I can see where a bit of the stamp is cut off. So that's why I had to pay an extra two pounds just to get it sent to me. Because that, it's, I think, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, unless you accidentally put the stamp somewhere else. But, don't use these stamps to send to people. Because that's just ridiculous and stupid and a hassle. Okay. I ran over. <laughs> There's nice things too. Okay, so let's do this. So this is a bundle of... Umbreon and Espeon cards because I didn't have very many of those evolutions in my stack. So, and I, and like on the other the evolution bundles, I had most of the cards he had in that collection except for a few. So I didn't want to, you know, pay another 20 or 40 pounds for cards I already had. So I wasn't planning on reselling them, these are for my collection. So, just push this up a bit so I can have more hand space. Here is Umbreon. We've got a hand drawn Espeon. Lovely. Espeon EX. I'll have to recheck. I actually have. Put that over there. I'll have to recheck if I already have these or not because I can't remember. Okay, 
So I only do have this one now. So that's the uh, GX promo. There's a sun in there, so I. So these these leaves are kind of clouded, so it doesn't make because you can't really see the uh, the hollow effect very well on these clouded leaves. See, so you can tell the difference a tiny bit. Anyway, I can use these leaves for my Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something. Because yeah. Anyway. Mm, yeah. Plasma freeze or something. Here's a lovely shatter foil. Old school espion. The noble victories or something. I can't quite remember. Here's a lovely one. Prancing on the snow. And this one, E series. Lovely, lovely. And one of these ones. And Espeon Energy. And here we have a very old Espeon. Lovely. Hello. It's very cool. And there's like a special gym one or something. It's not in the gym series or anything, but that's pretty cool. And then we have a first edition. Espeon here. Don't ask me set symbols unless I have it loosed on me, because otherwise I won't remember. Then we have a, um, I guess you would call it unlimited version to go with that. So that's pretty cool. Keep them both of those. Sweet. And didn't we come across this one already? Oh no. It's the same art, different set. Because the other one was E series. This one is not. It's still the same artwork. So I'll put that over there. Here we got an Espeon EX. Okay. Now I'm going to Umbreon and I don't have enough space on my table. But um, I'll have to just stack up the. Yeah, catching on my sleeve here. I'm just going to stack the non-hollow ones and then stack the hollow ones because oh, I don't have space. Lovely. That is really pretty. 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 Oh, and that's the same artwork. The uh, same set, but it's not a hollow. How about that? Hmm. Sweet. Mm. Okay, put those back here. Hmm. Oh, much more space. So, non hollow. Goes down there. Yeah, Umbreon EX. We have Karen. Ooh. She's got Umbreon next to her, so I guess that's. makes sense. And it's a promo. XY177. Oh, I've never seen this card before. So that's pretty cool. My uh, promo's going as different stacks. Here we got Umbreon Plasma or something or other. And that's cool. You got a reverse Umbreon here. Ooh, that was a hollow. This is just a regular rare. Float. I got another Shatter. A Shatter. Shatter. For you. Oh, this one. That's cool. Goes with the other one. And then we got the energy. 
Yeah, it's very cool. It's like silver and goldish for coloring there. Very nice. Ooh, and we have a regular wear version of this one too now. Um, yeah. Sweet. And uh, number on in this one now. We got a new series. That's pretty cool. We got two year series. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Pokey Power Dark Moon. That sounds ominous, doesn't it? Sweet. And got like the other thing of this one, you know, from the same landscaped thing, place. All Night Party. Got an Umbreon GX promo. And Umbreon GX. Plumps and a base. And a reverse. All Night Party. So that is it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, well, that one is about 40, uh, 40 pounds, not counting postage. So that was a new charge five for that. Anyway, yes, that's it. So, lovely Esprion and Umbrian cards. Um, just a side note. Uh, while well, I was like sorting my book yesterday, because I needed my desk space, because I had it all laid out, I came across this. And if you see slight ridges, you see in the light there better? There are slight ridges on the very top. I mean, like, see? This is where, like, the machine sealed the pack, but right on top of this card. I don't know what to do with it. I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna just uh, leave it in the sleeve and stick it in my scrapbook or something. Because I don't know if it's worth any. Anyway, that was a side note. So, on to the next part. I gotta say, this is a very nice uh, handwriting. As you see, it's from my Pokemon Cards UK, and this was a trade, so I traded one of the uh, newest McDonald's promos, doubles that I had, for this Cubone McDonald's number seven, because I don't have it. It's lovely. Also, he was kind enough to put in a extra. So that's me. So yeah. So now I'm only missing two, um, eight, ten, and twelve. So currently, you know, we are uh, considering a, uh, a trade right now, but uh, obviously we would have passed that because this video won't be going up for a while because this is only the second person in the uh, Pokey Hall video number eleven. And then I try and get to at least four people. So, yeah. Go check him out. He's got other things for sale on his like on his eBay and stuff. And he's got loads of cool cards on his Instagram that he's taking pictures of and stuff. So yeah, go check him out. At least, for change, this Cubone's not sad, anyway. <laughs> well, this Poke Hall uh, accumulation is going a tiny bit slow, so I only have two people. So, I normally don't put two people, two of the same people in one, but I thought, you know, might as well. It's only two cards, anyway. So, as you see, this is from My Pokemon Cards UK. So this is my second trade with them, and it is the number eight that I'm missing, and the missing Articuno, because so I got Zapdos and Moltres, but for some reason I never actually got Articuno, so I needed this in my last space to fill, so that was nice. Snow for the Magnemite. I'm only missing 1, 10, and 12. 
So hopefully I can come across those soon because I have no doubles now to trade or sell. So it's just buying from here on out. Okay, I know I didn't buy these from Instagram, but since the other ones of the McDonald's series isn't going to be in this uh, video, I thought I might as well show that I've got them. I bought them off eBay, you know, not too expensive what I bought them for, so didn't mind. Plus, I uh, traded or bought the uh, last one that I need from this guy. So, and I, if you see earlier from the other part of this video, that I traded from my Pokemon Cards UK. Hmm, I got three from him now. But as you see here, when I take it out of this top order, That is, uh, the card I bought is number one. And this is the one that I was missing. So let me just quickly. Uh, this is the uh, gloves. This is the uh, ATV I used to hold, as you see, my um, sleeves. I need to buy more of the perfect fit and normal penny sleeves because I'm running out. I think I only have one KMZ perfect fit after I finish with these, so I need to really buy them. Buy some more. They'll be blasting for a while. Yeah. Anyway. So I put them all in these. And. So that is the McDonald's 2018, though it's 2019 in a, that it came out in the UK, which is slightly annoying, but there we go. So this is the other card I bought from him. Let me just let's leave it up to show you. I'm, I'm keeping suspense here as you see. <laughs> So, the card that I bought from him is Ta Alicia. Alicia? No idea. Anyway, it's so pretty. It's like an idol type of card, I guess. So pretty. And that's just nice too. It's so rainbow y too. So cute. Anyway, yeah. So, I'm just waiting on one person to send me some stuff that I bought from him. Then I'll add that as part one of this Poke Haul video number 11. So, I guess that, that is it. So I'll stop right there. Normally I don't do as many same person in one video, but yeah. So, though, I guess I could prolong it and wait. So I did buy something from Shadow's Gengar as well. I think she did say she sent it or will send it. Or I'm thinking of somebody else. But anyway. I think I'll add that to at the end of this, because otherwise it's only two people in this Poke Hall. That'd be a bit boring, right? So, I won't end it yet. Stay tuned for the next part. Okay, here's the next part. It's a very nice and colorful thank uh, you Inside, we have. Thank you so much for your purchase. Enjoy your new cards. Shadowless Gamer. It's very nice. Go check her out on her uh, Instagram. And then uh, I'll just put that there. 
So let's see what I bought, because I can't remember anymore. So. Aha. Yes. So much time. Well, not so much tape, but you know. At least this tape comes off nicely. Strange. Okay. So just put that the tape off to the side. It's a lovely, lovely Snorlax and Eevee the GX card. Goes very well to tag team. <laughs> so that's that one. Here we have two in here. So, we're dropping things. So, next we have more tape. So I won't be, have to use that sleeve for something else. Oh, and I send out cards or something. Anyway, this next card is the Shaman Christmas Star. Very lovely. So that's that one. The next. One, which I can use that too for something else. Oh, with my normal ones. That managed not to have tape on that one. Um, anyway, I was saying, I couldn't resist this card because, like, I like roses. Those are my favorite flower. Though I like hyperseases too. But this one is the very pretty Reshiram from the uh, Radiant Collection of the. Uh, is it Legendary Treasures or something? I can't remember, but it is the old one. I'm only got it for the roses, because the red and white go well. And this actually would be like a, a very fitting a Valentine's Day card. I might post this on my Instagram for Valentine's Day. I don't really, you know, do very much like hyping about on certain holidays, because I don't really care that much. I mean, like, well, we do sort of celebrate Valentine's Day at home. I mean, it's it's mainly just, you know, well, if Dad's here, he he like on, at the dinner table he places like a heart-shaped uh, cookies on the table. Um. So my sister does some things for some other things, like for Chinese New Year, we had the Chinese related dinner stuff, and I'm rambling while I'm trying to sleeve these my stuff, so you don't get completely bored, and I can't be bothered to turn off the camera, just to turn it back on in a, in a few seconds, so yeah, that's, that's just me. <laughs> And my stomach is gone. Can you hear it growling? Because I'm hungry. Um, well, it is like, what time is it? Like, I don't know, two something? Three something? In the afternoon? And I didn't have any dinner. I mean, lunch. I don't normally have lunch, actually. I just have snacks. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, I'm the only one home right now, so. I can't involved to make anything. Since, so well, technically the dinner today is hot dogs. So, yeah. Either or. Um, okay, right. So I finally finished leaving three cards, even though it took me ages just to do that for some insane reason. Okay, so, next card is this Tornadus GX. Prism uh, Black Star um, promo. That's what it is. Promo, not Prism. Promo card SM134. Because for some reason, I have not been able to get my hands on the Nature uh, collection boxes 
Because I still need the other one. What is it? Thunderous? Is it Thunderous the other one? Anyway. I need that one. So, if anyone's got it. Yeah. Um. So, yes. Then we've got. Lance Prism Star because I've never actually pulled that yet though I'm still needing to buy some ETBs because I still haven't gotten the ETB for Dragon Majesty because I haven't been able to get my hands on it <clears throat> whenever I looked. I don't look that often but yeah it's I still need to get that somehow. I normally get it from Chaos Cards but uh, it's been like out of stock for ages. So I don't know if I should try at totalcards.net. I guess that's my second go-to. I don't really buy sealed things off eBay or Amazon. Just mainly those. Maybe Mad Magic Madhouse or whatever that's called. I don't know. Anyway, um, that was me procrastinating. <laughs> oh, there's the lance. So yeah. Gung Ho. But he looks kind of like a Super Saiyan, you know, with that hair going on and that, that yellowy, fiery background. Yes. <clears throat> I don't really like Dragon Ball Z very much. I mean, some bits are funny. Some, I do have some characters like, what was it? Cell 19? Or was it Cell 18? And I just want to punch that fat blob, you know, that pink blob, um, Majin Buu, and then there's that Piccolo is pretty cool. And uh, why am I talking about Dragon Ball Z in a Pokemon thing? So I have no idea. Anyway, last card is Wondrous Labyrinth, which I think I might have pulled this myself, now that I think about it. But it doesn't matter, because I at least want at least two Prism stars of Prism Star. Yes. Two cards of Prism Stars. I don't mind if I have three on some of them, but you know, for sake of actually getting money to actually buy stuff, I need to actually sell some stuff, you know. Uh, it's annoying when they have air in it. There. Oh now lovely and flat. So we got three prisms. Technically, one trainer, one stadium, three legendaries. It's all for nice prices, too. She's got very good prices on her thingy. And like, she has loads of. Uh, I think she's got loads of bulk to sell if you're interested in bulk, too. Um, and just other cards and stuff. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. I mean, am I even picking up one? Right there, yes. Let's stick together. Yes, anyway. I love that card. Well, maybe the one where Evie is sitting or laying down on Snorlax's stomach. That might be the, the better of the arts I like. I think. So this art one. It's pretty. Um, should I say I'm using? But anyway, yes. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, am I waiting for anybody else? Um, I think I'm waiting for one more person. Let's see. Uh, Rockabell TCG has not arrived yet, but that's going as part one of this video. Um, oh man. Who? Who? I have no idea, but I think I'm waiting for one more person. If not, I'll do a little short clip at the end saying goodbye. But, I think I'm waiting for one more person. I should really write this down, but I forgot. Yeah. The shaman's pretty cute. 
if I notice that me holding this up isn't actually putting it in frame, is it? So that is a very good Valentine's Day card to put up on my Instagram on Valentine's Day. But I need the other, the other, the other one of this one. Thunderous, Landorus, which one is the other one? I forgot. Anyway, yes. So these are the team up. I think I'm missing Black Market. But anyway, yes, that is, that's it. Uh, see you in the next part, or not. Okay, I know this is not Instagram, but I didn't know where else to put it. And I, last time I did a whole video of his, I had um, like three or four cards to actually make it a sizable haul. But it's just this one card. So this I bought from... Seventeen or his other cards on Instagram. So I guess you could say it's Instagram, but he's got his own stores. So uh, this is the awesome sort of recent custom of well, custom slash crossover of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a Dark Mage Gardevoir GX, and that is absolutely stunning. This Dark Magician Girl is one of my favorite Yu Gi Oh cards. <clears throat> so let's see. Spellbind ability. You may return a Glade and all cards attached to it from your bench to your hand. If you do, your opponent, opponent's current active Pokemon cannot attack or retreat during their next turn. Hmm. Uh, Mystic Play, this attack does 30 damage times the number of Pokemon in your opponent's Lost Zone. So that's pretty cool. And Twilight, a Dark Twilight GX, your opponent places the top 10 cards of their deck into the Lost Zone. Ah, so you best do a uh, Dark Twilight GX attack before you do the Mystic Play, technically. Cool. Oh, it's illustrated by PD underscore Pariah and its Sweet. Okay, it says it on the corner right here. Anyway, yes, that is it. So I guess I can't think of anyone. Am I waiting for? I am waiting for cards from somebody, aren't I? Oh, they could be in the next video. All right, so that's it. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Bell for now.